What is going on, Libra? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ Life. Hope you're all having a great day and welcome to Aquarius season. Also, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, I wanted to let you know that personal readings are going to remain discounted all the way up until June. Um, <coughs> excuse me, because that's when the North and South Node energies uh, will shift um, out for the next year and a half. Um, shoot, what else do I want to say? Oh, I'm shortening these videos as well because I uh, am asking for suggestions on what content you would like me to see. So, yeah, definitely leave me comments. Let me know uh, what suggestions that you have, what requests you have, um, and I'll be happy to fulfill them. <laughs> Let's see what else is there. What else is there? Hmm. I get a feeling that a lot of you are very happy right now, even when you're going through difficult times, if you are, or even if you're not, you're happy. You're kind of in a good place right now. You are. You feel balanced. You feel well balanced instead of chaotic and decisive and all over the place. You're actually doing much better with that. Um, okay. Coming up at the bottom of the deck, you have Mother of Air Upright, so this could touch on all kinds of things. Minor arcana of Aquarius. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> this could be swift messages coming in. Warm, supportive messages coming in. This could be a crossing over of some sorts. Um, be that a crossing over of a loved one or your personal crossing over, changing and shifting your energy to move forward into something new. Um, yeah. It can also be um, what is called a stellium, and a stellium is a conjunction of three or more planets. That could be within your natal chart, so you might want to pay attention to where things most hit in those energies. Very interesting. Okay. So, because it's um, Aquarius season, we're going to be focusing on the 11th house. We're looking at groups, friends, social causes, and how you show up in society. So, I need a card for groups. Beautiful. Oof. Friends. Mm. Social causes. Nice. Libra, I think you're the first sign that received an upright card in social causes. You're fucking awesome. Okay. <laughs> Excuse the language, but that's how I feel about it, all right? How you show up in society. <sighs> Ouch. Okay, hold on. We'll get into it. I might spend a little bit longer on you. Okay, this is very interesting. In groups, with whatever groups that you are connected with, you show up as, or they show up as, being faded and jaded, so to speak. I always say that to myself when I pull this card and it's inverted for personals. Like, oh, something's faded and jaded. But what you're looking at is a disinterest in communicating, a disinterest in expanding, that something is finite. So, yeah, it's faded and jaded, really. Um, either because people are for real getting faded off of substances or um, they have a very, like, faded view of something or feeling towards something. Or maybe this is you, Libra. Clarify. This is a general reading, by the way, if you need a personal, like I said. Whew. This is for Libra or... Other people in the groups. I need to know. Get nosy. Other people in the groups. It's not with you. 
it's not something that is in your fate. Thank goodness. Um, fate and change inverted. Yeah. Everything is under control and not out of control with you. It's just these people that you're dealing with. You might want to change your circle up. Especially when it comes to groups. With friends. They're coming up as... Not necessarily emotionally unstable, but overall unstable. They're not exactly aligning with your energy. You have Venus conjuncting the sun inverted here. Obviously, that does not mesh well with your energy. And you see this, and you know this, you feel it. Hmm. There's no issue with betrayal, but there definitely there definitely is like a karma here that's going on. So in order to fix whatever karma is going on, you're going to need to um, reconcile, communicate, work on it, see the beauty in it, come together with it, love on it. Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Within social causes, you have Eon and Synthesis Upright. This says, I'm the first and the last. I am the utterance of my name. You're ascending and rising to the occasion, but you're also, like, your energy is also moving up and progressing to the next level here. Definitely, that's for sure. Not just because it's coming up 21 fold, um, but because of the fact that. Um, the planetary information denotes this. You're definitely moving up to the next level here. So if you are working on something that is not faded and jaded within groups, go to social causes because that's where the energy is at. Love it. Do not change your direction here with social causes or the uh, passion that you feel toward them because you are doing well. You're looking at people who lack direction and you're trying to help them gain a better sense of direction. This is what you need to focus on. Libra, that's beautiful. I love it. I'm actually going to leave that out. Okay. How you show up in society, I'm not sure why, is a dishonest business dealer, like a wheeler and dealer, if you know what I'm talking about. People think you're dirty. And mm, that misperception may be occurring because of the groups that you associate with now that are faded and jaded may also be a thing of some friends not being honest about what they've been up to and um, you having to just kind of come together with them, love on them, find out what's going on. Um, either way, oh yeah. South Node, not expanding. South Node has everything to do with friends right here, because I came up in, in a clarifier karma. There's some karmic things you're going through, or the both of you are going through. Interesting. Also, Jupiter inverted, with fate and change inverted. Clarifying groups here. So that's showing me that Within the groups, there's nothing to expand upon. So disassociate yourself from these groups. And this might turn around. Um, hold on. Are people justly seeing Libra as like the wheeler and the dealer? I don't like that. I really don't like that. Oh. Yes, hanged man, you're too still. You're stuck on some old things that you don't belong being involved in. Groups, again, certain groups of people. It may not be like an, what is called a group, like a therapy group or um, recovery group or anything like that. It might be uh, more of, you know, people that are grouped together that you associate with. 
I think that's more of what that is. Um, you're stuck in some old stuff that you need to grow out of, and you don't need to be associating with that type of stuff anymore. And that's why people see you as the dishonest business person or the wheeler and dealer or the dishonest person overall. That's not coming up um, as somebody who's constructive. So you have to be mindful of this and do what it is that you need to do to fix it. Okay, Libra? Hold on. I'm coming back. That is it for now. At the bottom of the deck, though, this is a very blunt message, this entire reading. It's a blunt, honest message that needed to come through to you because there are some things that you need to put the fire out on. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why. <sighs> Again, I welcome all of your suggestions. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you've not yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, because then you will receive all the content that you've been requesting. I, I'm welcoming it. Leave it in the comments. Love you guys. Bless the